free viewpoint neural relighting of indoor scenes. We introduce a neural rendering approach that can change the lighting of real indoor scenes, rendering them while accounting for complex illumination effects. We start from a set of calibrated photographs and a reconstructed 3D mesh. To generate a novel view, pre-computed scene and lighting information is reprojected and passed to a neural rendering network. We propose to estimate the relit image, I relit, as a function of, the input views, eyes, the source diffuse irradiance, E in, the target diffuse irradiance, E out, the source mirror images, S us, and a target mirror image, S out. Stochastic integration of the input images is used to estimate the source diffuse irradiance, E in, in each input view. This allows us to compute a pseudo-albedo A, for each input view. It is then reprojected and merged on the vertices of the global mesh. Path tracing is then used within the albedo colored mesh to estimate a user chosen target diffuse irradiance, E out. For specular irradiance, SI, we compute a mirror image for each input view, where all surfaces are treated as perfect reflectors. At runtime, all this information is transferred to the novel view via a set of heuristic blending reprojections, optimizing for resolution, coverage and entropy. The target mirror image, S out, is generated on the fly. It integrates the target lighting condition using the pseudo-albedo A. All this information is then used by the neural network to synthesize realistic output views under the user-specified target lighting. We now present our results. For each scene, we show two videos of synthesized views along a path. The left one uses the original lighting conditions, while the right one is relit. Please note that the specular highlight on the floor is moving smoothly, while in the relit video, the light on the chair is casting a specular highlight on the table. Here you can see that our method handles Fresnel effects on the front of the dresser at grazing angles. When turning off the input lighting, the specular highlight on the floor is correctly removed. We also cast new shadows on the statue. We now compare our method to other view synthesis techniques. Please note that these methods do not handle relighting. Deep blending does not handle highlights correctly, and is overall blurrier. Freeview synthesis exhibits stronger temporal artifacts than our method. As with deep blending, the reflections do not move correctly and have a discontinuous flow. Here we selected 196 views from our scene to best reproduce the scene using NERF. This method achieves convincing highlight motion, but still fails to converge to a visually satisfying solution overall. The unstructured Lumograph algorithm exhibits popping artifacts and texture seams, visible on the wall. We now present an interactive session using our interface. Our method enables the user to freely move in the scene. She can control the input lighting exposure. But also each pre-computed light intensity and color independently. The user can also turn off the input lighting with a simple switch. Each pre-computed light can be switched on at will. Here we change the color of the light on the right.
Using only four different light sources, for this example, we show that we can design diverse lighting conditions. At grazing angles we can also observe specular effects on the fabric, cast by the novel light. Thanks for watching.